What's going on everybody? Welcome back. My name is Adrian and today I'm playing Inside the Dark. It's going to be a quick little horror game. It's been a few days since I've played like a quick itchy horror game, so I'm ready to get into this. Ever since that day, I've kept wandering in the dark. And here we are. A dark room and door won't open. Well, that seems about right. Why would it? Why would Oh. oh, oh. Uh, I don't like the sound. Please stop. That sound very much bothers me. I'm going into this door. <laughs> Didn't have to open so slow like that. My guy? Whoa. Okay, so we have like three very distinctly different things here. We've got an old wooden door, an old wooden staircase, and a new hallway? I don't know, my guy. Let me see what this is about. Can't get in. Why? No flashlight? You gotta help me out here, man. Oh, yes. Well, helps me out. What? What was that noise? Baba Booey. Was that you? But I want to go to you. Or you. I didn't even know this was here. Won't open. Wow. Well, there goes that. I'm going inside here in the grass room. This room feels strangely familiar. Yeah, this has like a super liminal space vibe to it. I actually kind of like it. Very odd and eerie and whoa. It's fine, guys. You remember that video, that guy who like wants to check if his pasta is ready, so he throws it against the wall to see if it sticks. That's what happened here. That's that's the only thing. A key that I can't get. I'm not allowed. What are you doing to me, dude? Why can't I grab that key? Very oddly positioned. Let me try this door. It's locked. Yeah, so I need the key for that. What the hell, bro? Oh, there we go. A key? Uh, no, really? That's that's not what it is. What? Why? Stop. I'm watching you. <laughs> is it you that's watching me? Stop it. I don't like that. I don't like you watching me. I actually didn't expect that to open. Okay. Um. Oh. Ooh, this this game is really messing with me. What is that? Is that a light? Or is that like water damage and there's a bathtub that's about to come crashing through here? Let's try opening this. Still locked. Key doesn't seem to fit either. Okay, well, I guess I gotta go into one of those rooms downstairs. This is actually not bad, dude. This is definitely providing an interesting atmosphere and it's kind of throwing some, oh, won't open. It's throwing some interesting things my way. And that opens. Oh, do I have to make a choice here? It's locked. Are you giving me a choice? Do I, is, are there two endings here? Okay, I guess not. That is the room of three dots. Nobody's allowed in there. I guess I gotta go into the red room. Why though? That's the question, why am I in here? Why are any of us here? And why does that why not have a question mark? And this one either. How many, there's three whys in here that don't have question marks. Why? All right, enough foolishness. What am I doing here? What is this? What happened? That doesn't answer my question about what happened. Whoa, I'm sitting. Oh. Oh. Is that Granny? Oh God, coming closer to me. Ooh, ooh, coming closer to me, coming even closer. Okay, well, they, thank you. I didn't want to see you anyway. Um, ooh. Oh. Another key. <laughs> Another uh, key. Uh, oh! Ow, my soul. How, how did I end up here? I remember grabbing that key. Is that for this door? What is happening? Oh, at least I have my flashlight again. Did anything change up here, though, is the question. Can I go here? It's sealed shut. Seems there's no use for any key here. Well, that's good for me. I guess I don't have to worry about that disgusting room ever again. Going in here. I didn't think that would actually work. But does the key work for this door? Is the question. Nope, it's still the room of three dots. So I guess we're going down into the basement. Whoa, I'm bounce bouncy as hell when I go down the stairs. I don't like this. I don't like this place. 
This is not a cool basement, my dude. I gotta say, this game seemed unassuming from the start, but it's actually not bad. The level design is really good, the gritty feeling of everything. There is like a very spooky liminal space feel to this whole thing. And I'm totally locked, aren't I? He doesn't work from this side. That makes no sense. Okay, I guess I gotta go here unless face your fear to move on. It won't open. Oh, I know exactly what's coming. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, this is good, man. This isn't bad. I actually, I'm enjoying this, dude. I was not expecting this, man. This is pretty spooky. Okay. Uh. What? Oh, I am atop the chair. I didn't even know I could jump. I'm floaty when I jump. All right. Going out to get jump scared. Locked. Turning around to get jump scared. Oh. Yo, you are freaking me out, lady. I don't know who you think you are, but stop messing with me. It's not really fair. My flashlight doesn't work too good, does it? What? I'm back here? Am I supposed to look out for... <sighs> Why is this actually scaring me now? <laughs> uh, Mr. Ghost? Or Mrs. Ghost, whoever you are. It's the key of three dots. Oh, hell yeah, dude. You already know what's about to go down. Locked. I don't care. I'm going to the room of three dots. This is going to be perfect, man. All that time I've spent. That door is locked. It seems the lock's been tampered with. I also like that there's like different dialogue text. Each door has like different text to kind of explain why it's locked in some cases. All right. Room of three dots. I'm going in. What is this going to do for me? It's never going to end. I've made my decision. Wow. Okay. Pretty damn good. That was a bit of a softer ending than I was expecting, but I'm not upset about that. Usually I'm a really big fan of when there's a giant jump scare at the end of the game to kind of tie it all together, but I feel that that was a pretty good ending for the game. The idea of being trapped in that place forever definitely creeps me out, especially considering who's in there and the type of place it is. I think some of the stuff that really shines in this game is definitely the level design. I don't know what it was. I mean, the textures weren't anything like extravagant or super detailed. There wasn't a lot of stuff going on in the place either. Like there weren't a bunch of objects kind of cluttered in there to give it more of a, a detailed feel. But just the way each room was laid out, again, I'm gonna say it for like a, the fifth time, it had a liminal space vibe to it. Just that kind of place where nothing really feels solid, like there's no solid ground underneath you and everything feels like it's kind of up in the air and floaty and weird and slightly nostalgic in a creepy way. This game definitely gave me that feeling and I enjoyed it. I was in for it. And I like how at the end things kind of started to go a little bit haywire. I think that was a great addition with having that lady kind of appearing in multiple different places. Very good for a short little indie horror game for Michio. This was really good. I very much enjoyed playing this. Anyway, if you guys want to try this game out for yourselves, I'll leave a link down below in the description. Otherwise, that's going to be it for me. Thanks everyone so much for watching this video. Be sure to hit that like button down below if you enjoyed it. Don't be afraid to leave me a comment. Let me know how you feel. Smack that subscribe button if you're new to the channel, and I can't wait to see you all in the next video. Take it easy.